today i am going to give you the demonstration of determination of viscosity coefficient of organic liquid using ostwald viscometer for this experiment some of the components are required the important components are this is ostwald viscometer having two limbs a big one and a narrow limb this is a graduated pipette this is a pipette head and this is a beaker then uh, some of the chemicals we require here the organic liquid which is actually a benzene and uh, reference water we need and acetone which is a cleaning agent to rinse the viscometer we need this and this is a digital stop watch these are the some requirements chemicals and devices we require to do this experiment so first we have to fix this into the bullet stand and after we have immerse this uh, first one is commuter into this beaker containing the water because the viscosity varies with the lab temperature also to maintain the constant temperature we have to immerse this viscometer inside the water so that temperature gets maintained then we have to immerse we have to pour the organic liquid into the wider limb of the viscometer with the help of this pipette head so now um, inserting this pipette head into the graduated pipette and i'm getting this benzene organic liquid 10 ml like this we have to pipette it very carefully this is how we have to pipette it out and this have to transfer into the wider limb of the narrow limb of the viscometer so wider limb of the viscometer like this then from the other end we have to withdraw the liquid from for using the same pipette head so if you see the bulb here there will be two mortons above this bulb on the upper mark below this bulb there will be a lower mark we above that upper mark we have to pipette out this like this well now let us uh, we have to leave it whenever the upper meniscus of this benzene or the organic liquid comes in contact with the mark upper mark we have to stop we have to record the time of flow of this liquid our teachers have started this um recording the time of flow of liquid from upper mark to the lower mark whenever the liquid touches the lower mark immediately we have to stop this stopwatch so that we can record the time of flow of liquid from this upper mark to the lower mark of ostwald viscometer it's moving slowly that movement of the liquid is depending upon the capillary tube present inside this viscometer coming down it reaches the lower mark and i'm stopping yes so it it took 64 seconds to flow from upper mark to the lower mark this we have to record in the table column this is the table column for the experiment here for the viscosity of our liquid unknown liquid first trial it took around 64 second we have to repeat two times again second trial and third trial in order to get the average of in order to nullify the percentage of error we have to take the average of the three readings so after this we have to discard the organic liquid 
you have to wash the both the limbs of the viscometer with the help of this acetone this is acetone a cleaning agent using this we have to wash both viscometer as well as a graduated pipette and after this we have to dry it by keeping inside the hotter oven so after thoroughly drying this we have to repeat the same experiment for the water so this is the water as a reference so the whole experiment has to be repeated for this water also so on the record reading for the water we have to write here the first ray second ray and third ray and average of all these things will give this time of flow of water from upper mark to the lower mark after getting the viscosity readings for the water and the liquid we have to do the calculation we have one poisonous equation with the help of that poisonous equation we are going to do this experiment uh, for this we need a lab temperature and density of a given liquid and density of a water so viscosity of water also these four things are a given data with the help of this given data we are going to calculate the viscosity coefficient of a organic liquid thank you